In this video, we'll show you how to get shaders in Roblox. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing. And once you've done that, please go down below and consider leaving a like as well. We really do appreciate it. And make sure you watch this video right until the end. And let's get right into this video. The first thing you need to do is go and open up a browser and then go to a search engine. So in this case, I'm using Google, but you can use any search engine you like. And then all you need to do is go and search for something called Row Shade. If you spell that R O S H A D E, just like so, and Row Shade is a great sort of add on for Roblox, which we can go and use to go and get shaders. So here it is. All you want to do is come to the official website, which is roshade.com. And you're probably wondering, can you get banned for using Roshade? And the answer is that it's very unlikely to. You can do your own research, but we've done quite a lot of research ourselves, and we found that no one's actually been banned before for using it. So once you're on the website, all you need to do is go and click on download now, or go and click on download in this top bar here. And honestly, the free pack is absolutely fine. You can get the paid one, but you can get everything you need with the free. So you can click download here, and then as you can see, um, you can go and try it for free, but honestly, we just go and get the free version. It's completely fine. And you have to go and agree to the license agreement, and then we'll be taken to this page here. And this is an ad wall, and after five seconds, a skip button is gonna go and appear in the top right. Um, so go and press on skip, just like so, and then it's gonna go and take you to a mega page, which is basically like a file host. Down at the bottom here, all you need to do is press download, and it's gonna take a moment to um, initialize, and then as you can see, it's now downloading it. And then after it's finished downloading here, it's gonna go and drop it into your browser just down here. Now, every browser is slightly different, so it may not appear in the bottom for you, um, but where all your files are going to go are in your downloads folder on in your file explorer. So go and open your file explorer, and you can go and find it there. But in this case, I'm just gonna go and drag it onto my desktop like so. So I just went and put the setup file in the middle of my computer. So now let's go and double click on it and go and install this. So after you double clicked on it, you're gonna go and get the setup file, which looks just like this. And all you need to do is go and press install just like so. And as you can see here, we've now got a few options. Um, so these are completely up to you to go and set these keybinds. I'm gonna keep these as they are, F8 and F7. So you may want to note that down um, just in case you want to use that in the future. Then go and press next. And then we can go and choose all of these. I'm gonna have them all, um, but if there's certain ones you don't need, then you could untick them. For example, green screen you may not want, um, but I'm gonna have them all just to go and show you guys. Then go and press install, and you can go and see um, that it's actually making progress. So all you need to do is sit back and relax and wait for this to finish. And after it's finished, there'll be a tick next to all of these, and then the next button will be available. So go ahead and press on next. And as you can see, it now says finished, and we can go and click close and launch. And when you go and click on launch, it's just gonna direct you back to Roblox. And now we need to go and get in a game and go and check these out. So a game I like to check it out with is Jailbreak, just because there's a lot of textures to it. But you can try out any game you'd like. So I'm gonna go and click play, and let's go and launch Roblox. And just to add on as well, you actually go and launch Roblox completely normally. There's nothing different you need to do. So the game is now loading. And in the top left, we do get a bit of a note about Roshade. As you can see, it does actually say there is an update. Um, so I'll just wait for my game to properly load. So the game is properly loaded. So I'm gonna go and open it up now. So I'll press F7 and here we are. Now, as you can see, don't worry about all of these options. This may look really confusing, but don't worry. It's not as complicated as it looks. The main thing you actually need is this top bar here where it says glossy. This is the effect and the shader we're using. So if we go and click on glossy, we've got these other options. We've got green screen, road shade high, row shade low, and medium and very glossy. So tap on the one you like, and then just go and press on select, and then it's gonna go and apply it, and here we are. So now all you need to do is press F7 again, and it's gonna go and minimize the menu. And as you can see, this looks pretty mad. This is very, very very glossy and everything just looks really shiny, which looks actually quite cool. If I zoom in, look at the detail on the face, it's incredible. But of course, this is quite extreme. So let's go and press F7 again and go and change it. And I just want to quickly add in as well, if you want to go and enable or disable the shaders, all we need to do is press F8. So in this case, now I disabled it. If I press it again, it then goes and enables it, and then F7 opens up the menu, as I just said. So, so far, we just stayed on the home page, but you can also go and click on add-ons and there's a few other bits here. Um, and you've got the settings page as well. So you can go and change the settings and things like the um, key binding. So you've got general, screenshots, overlay and styling. But honestly, you don't really need to mess with this. I'd keep it simple and you can just go and adjust the shade as you want. And then you can use F8 to go and enable or disable them. And there we go, guys. That is how you can go and get shaders in Roblox. If you did find this video useful, please go down below and consider subscribing. Leave a like for more. Peace.